previous section we have talked a bit about solar concentrators and their applications for high temperature water heating systems but this is not its only application high temperature fluids can be used in steam turbines to produce electricity solar thermal power refers to the conversion of solar to mechanical and electrical energy much of the early attention of these systems was in small scale applications mainly for water pumping however since 1985 there have been several large scale solar power systems up to 80 megawatt this technology is especially interesting when located in de- desert region where radiation is optimum and otherwise unused land is utilized this system consists basically of a collector where solar energy is absorbed a storage system usually water or phase in storage a boiler that act as a heat exchanger between the operational fluids of the collector and the heat engine which converts thermal energy to mechanical energy this mechanical energy can be further used in an electrical generator usually collectors include concentrator systems to be able to reach high temperature that heat engine needed to operate I am going to explain the concept of solar thermal power using a example of solar power tower. But we will see later that this is only one possible configuration of solar concentrator system. The direct light strikes the mirror or the collectors which is equipped with the tracking system that follows the sun. The parabolic shape of mirrors is able to focus the light on the central tower where a fluid is heated. The fluid raises its temperature to values between 100 and 500 degrees Celsius due to the concentrated sunlight. The fluid is then used to move a turbine in a heat engine. and produce electricity the problem of this system is that efficiency of the collector diminishes as its operating temperature rises while the efficiency of the engine increases as the temperature rises so a compromise between the two has to be found when choosing the operating temperature solar concentration systems have been known and explored for a long time now from the first developed by archimedes to the concentrators designed by leonardo da vinci a more recent example is the walkie talkie building in london which by virtue of its shape able to concentrate light that strikes on it in a small area in this area on the streets of london temperature of more than 90 degree have been reached and it has even been burnt some objects in the neighboring shops different types of concentrator produce different peak temperature and corresponding varying thermodynamic efficiency due to the different ways of tracking the sun and focusing light innovations in the field are leading to more and more energy efficient and cost effective systems the first system we will discuss is parabolic trough collectors the parabolic trough consists of a linear parabolic reflector that concentrates light down to your observatory located in the middle of the parabolic mirror in which the working fluid is located the fluid is heated to 150 to 350 degrees celsius and then used in a heat engine next one is fresnel reflectors or similar but using thin flat mirrors instead in order to concentrate sunlight onto the tubes in which the fluid is pumped flat mirror mirrors allow more reflection in the same amount of space as 
parabolic reflect more sunlight and are much cheaper other important concentration system is the dish stirling a dish stirling or a dish engine system consists of a parabolic reflector that concentrate light to the reflector's focal point where the working fluid absorbs the energy heating up to 500 degree celsius and is able to operate a heat engine this system provide an efficiency of 31 percentage which is rather high now we will look into solar power tower plants they consist of an array of dual axis tracking reflectors commonly named helios tracks which concentrate sunlight on a central receiver which contains the working fluid the fluid can be heated to 500 to 1000 degree celsius and then used in a power generator or energy storage system they are the very efficient system and have an easier storage that's all for about today's class thank you